Hello, I'm Alan. I'm Thomas. And welcome to Let's Talk Tech, another great episode of Let's Talk Tech. Uh, I apologize for the last like three episodes. Uh, we lost the toaster for the show. Uh, if you don't know well, what the toaster I, is, it's <laughs> the editing program they use here at WPAA. Actually, we had the toaster, we just didn't have the, the computer. The computer was down, so that was the first bad episode. The second one was because, I'm not exactly sure. The second one, I don't know why, no. Yeah, I don't know why the second episode was bad, but Because then, we weren't here, that's right, we yeah, took a break. And yeah. then- And then Tom was absent, so I, I was here. I had, uh, I don't know, I was sick that day for some reason, I don't know. I was just happened to be sick, I had a fever and stuff. And I didn't really want to come in by myself, but even though we did, and that was pretty funny. That clone that was freaking me. hilarious. Yeah. That, yeah, that was all Eric's idea. Um, it so was just, yeah, it, we had, that was somewhat If cool. you're wondering what that was, it was just a video clip playing in the background. It's pretty simple, but and it, it, made the, it made it a lot funnier. Yeah. And this is our last episode of Let's Talk Tech till March, if we decide to come back. Oh, and if that girl was watching from last episode, please call in. I would love to talk to you. <laughs> I would love to. <laughs> oh, yeah, by the way, yeah, that person who called in last time, someone that called in asking me about... Uh, the uh, video of the screen and everything, I kept saying your TV card. I kind of was out of it. Um, it's not a TV didn't card. didn't know what the heck I was Most talking Most people about do not have a TV card or a TV tuner. It's your tuner. video card. Like it's I, a video card. I corrected myself, said video card. It's not your TV card, it's your video card. Yeah, oh my God. <laughs> Tyler wanted me to make sure to say that and Tyler's clapping in the background. Yeah. I corrected myself now. Woo. Okay, <laughs> enough chit chat. Let's get on to what we're talking about. We're okay. talking about Google Chrome the web browser, which and is And then we're going to talk about the OS. We're going to explain what the br or browser is first because the OS and the browser are the same thing. By the way, if you don't know what the OS is, it's an operating system. It's the thing when you boot up right there. But this is different. It's not Windows. No, no, no. This is Google Chrome. <laughs> first. first. <laughs> I think they got that. OK, so let's talk about the web browser first. The web browser is, as it says, one of the fastest or the fast out there. It advertises it's the fastest. I don't know how it would be faster than all the other ones if it just had like less options in it, but they made it faster, less like spam in it. I don't know, but it definitely is pretty fast. It's as good as Firefox, if you ask me. I like Firefox, personally. I like but Firefox, but I don't like about Google, what I don't like about the difference, like I know I'm not comparing the, the things, but Google Chrome doesn't have the same no, we can, we can compare Firefox. I mean, that'd be good for- Yeah, we have a half an hour. We can do whatever the heck we want, it's our <laughs> show. Um, yeah, so uh, by the way, we're live. Yeah, call if, in. If you want to call in. 6310. Yeah, Come by on. the way, you also now have to dial 203 if you haven't done that in the last like two weeks that this has been going on. <laughs> now have to dial 203. <laughs> if you had a problem with calling, it says, <laughs> please dial the area code. So now, if you haven't you, made a call in the last like, two weeks and you decide to call our show first, that's actually kind of sad. But <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You've been called in two weeks and all of a sudden you see us on WPAA. And there it is. There, I mean, there you want to make a call. Uh, computer questions. We're accepting computer questions and not prank calls, even though you're going to prank prank calls anyway. So if you want to prank call, you know what? Prank calls. We're all cool. Um, yeah. So I'll get my boys. Hit them up. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, let's go to browser. <laughs> okay. The well, the web browser itself is. It's a great web browser. I love the web browser itself. I don't really use it personally as much as my brother, but I have used it. I've downloaded it. It's a great app. I mean, it has the tabs like in the like Firefox first did, and then IE took, and then Google Chrome took. But I think well, the nice thing about the I, I like the this thing called incognito mode. Okay, yeah, it's, it's everyone knows what that is. Uh, that's why I'm going to explain it. Please explain. Incognito mode is you could go in and say open tab as incognito mode, and it will not and whatever site you go to in that tab. What that is that? Spanish? French? I have no idea. English. Incognito. <laughs> incognito. Incognito. Okay, thank you. Incognito. Yeah, I don't know what incognito. Incognito. Okay, okay. In incognito. incognito. I think incognito is on the the menu at Taco Bell. <laughs> <laughs> Taco Bell. Yeah, that's incognito. Oh, if you if you want to laughing, he just made a joke saying incognito. It's supposed to be incognito, but incognito is something at Taco Bell, probably. I don't know. Yeah. So, um, incognito <laughs> mode is cod. Incognito. Do you want to say it? Incognito. Tell me what it is. Incognito. It's not that hard. Anyway, that tab allows you to view any excuse tabs. Me, that are excuse in. me, I have a question for Thomas. Yes. Can you please tell me about Alicia? <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, I'd like to know about Alicia. No. Why don't you call in, Tom? <laughs> right from the studio. Yeah. This is Tom from Talking with Tom, and you can't really see him because he's kind of... Not in the camera. Under the camera, yeah. yeah. He has under his, the camera. You can but see his flag. Yeah, kind of. it's Tom from Talking with Tom. So 
could all say hi to Talking with Tom from Tom Dan uh, Tom Dancy from Indeed Dancy Dancy from Talking with Tom Dan <laughs> Dan Dan Tom Dacy uh, Dacy um, I was coming wrong name anyway yeah, so the browser <laughs> we're getting very distracted today I, uh, the, once the, again we're live so call in uh, the <laughs> the web browser itself it's great download it whatever but download it you go to it, if you go to it's YouTube a free download something, it will give you a free download yeah it's a free download it's not like internet explorer you can only download a couple times and it's it's really good firefox again is a great one but google chrome is definitely up there yeah, i would i would pick i'd go firefox google chrome with what that's it is that's actually the list on our website of the top people that of all the people that view our website in the last 30 days google chrome is the second most used web browser that views our site so that I was actually I actually like that I do not like Internet Explorer so I was happy to see that people are using st stuff other than Internet Explorer. Uh, yeah, it, it definitely is good. I mean that people are getting out there knowing a little bit more about computer and oh my God, Tyler, stop! He's making smiley faces, trying to get me to smile. I'm gonna beat him. Uh, anyway, it's definitely a great uh, web it's browser. Definitely a great web browser. Uh, Fastest web browser. I by know. the way, please call. Yeah. Please. Yeah, please. Please, <laughs> call. Anyway, I so mean, yeah, it's fastest. Yeah. It's open source, which is the open source we've talked about on the show before. Open source is usually free. Ah. Oh, we finally got a call. Welcome to Let's Talk Tech. And it's, wow, that was awesome. That was fast. How would that work out? Oh, hey, hey, hey. Can you fix that, please? No, it wasn't us. Yeah, it was. All right, sure. Fine, whatever. Okay, cool. That, that was quick, though. Usually the prank calls, they usually call in. It's usually no one there. And then it's that was that was really quick. That was cool. Anyway, <laughs> you're such a loser. <laughs> usually prank calls last a lot. <laughs> this one was quick. No, no, no. I mean, usually it's silence. Do so you get phone. prank calls a lot? Huh? Yeah. Welcome. Let's talk tech. See how it, see how you saw this a little bit of silence in there? No. Wait, wait. wait. I think it's them. <laughs> oh. Okay. Sure. Okay. Let's All leave right. Them Anyway, so the web browser, and probably we're not going to, okay, anyway, so the web browser, fastest, open source, free. Open source means you can take, it. It's a th there's a thing online, there's the HTML or computer language on the internet, and you can pretty much edit it. So you can take the HTML or whatever it's written in, it's not HTML, but you take HTML, it. HTML, C++, whatever it's written in. It won't be C++. C++. But, okay, cool. Okay, so you... You can actually take it and then edit the program, like edit the theme, edit what it does, edit attributes about it. Using the code, if you know how to code. And if you don't know how to code, that's cool. You could just use the web browser. The web you browser don't, you has don't need, to do with coding. You don't need to code. You, it's a straight download. They change it up a lot. They have like the yeah, three they, point they the updates. updates. Um, just to let you know, on our website, let's talk tech.co.cc. If you go into our home, if you go onto the website and then go into cool links, I have a five links of YouTube videos about the Google Chrome OS Dude. or or the browser. So just go into our website, cool links, let's talk tech.co.cc. If you could put it up on the screen, John, that would be nice. Um, put up our website on the screen. <laughs> um, that, uh, yeah, there we go. Yeah, there you go. There let's, right there. Talk let's talk tech. Let's talk tech. That's CEO. That's CEO. Um, news, everything's on that website. But yeah, I have a whole bunch of links of videos that you could view, or you could just go to YouTube straight and just search Google Chrome OS, and it'll just you just see the even there's a good site called download.cnet.com, or you can just type in download.com, and you can download it from there. Everything's safe there. Um, pretty pretty effective. <laughs> Everything that's there is 100% real, no viruses. It's great. A great okay. site. Uh, we have a video like we usually do. We have a video to play for you, and I think we're going to be playing the About Chrome video. Oh, and um, yeah, if when it says the web browser's up here, it is not up here. We're, you're on the TV, just yeah. in case you weren't wondering. Yeah. But if you're watching on the computer, it'd be there. Okay. Yeah. So, but, uh, okay, we'll just you are on the okay, internet using a web browser. Y you know, that thing with the address bar and back button and bookmarks. That thing you're in right now, up there. Yeah. That's your web browser. If you're like me, when you're on your computer, you spend something like, I don't know, 90% of your time on the internet in a browser. There's emails, chatting, you're reading news, watching videos, playing games, you're buying things, just to name a few. Which kind of makes the web browser the most important program on your computer. And if you think about it, it hasn't always been this way. 
You see, web browsers were first designed a long time ago with the old internet in mind. You know, back when it was slow and mainly just words with links that just send you to more words with links. Back before all of these innovations. So some guys at Google asked, what if we redesigned the web browser from scratch with an eye towards the new web? You know, maps, video, and web apps that are a lot more dynamic. And so they created Chrome, a web browser that's crazy fast on today's internet. And it's sleek and more secure, but mostly it's really fast. I mean, my biggest question when I boot up my computer is how long till I get on the internet, right? I mean, if there isn't any internet, I might not even use my computer. Did you know that even the fastest computers will still take like 45 seconds to boot up? 45 seconds! You can make a sandwich in that time. So here's what's going on when your computer's booting up. There's this list of things to do, stuff I'm sure you don't care about, but it cranks through them one at a time. What you probably notice is that your programs begin loading up slowly, and if you're like me, as soon as you see your web browser icon appear, you're like double-clicking it over and over and over. Let's go, buddy, I got some emails to read. Well, all of this stuff is called your operating system. And over time, it gets rusty, and your once fresh computer gets slow. Well, Google was like, wait a second, if your operating system's a hassle and all you're really using it for is to get on your web browser, to get online, then maybe, well, maybe we don't need this anymore. What if when you pressed on, you were on the internet in seconds? What if your browser was your operating system? And, and so check this out. This means that you don't have to deal with, with managing programs or, or nagging updates or lost files or confusing settings or blue screens of doom and, and there's no nagging updates, just your browser, which means you can still listen to music, you can watch movies, interact with friends, you're creating documents, you're playing games, you're writing your emails, you're doing all of this stuff that you were already doing on the internet. But here's the thing, none of this is stored on your computer. What, none of it you ask? Yeah, none of it. Really nothing, yeah, nothing is stored on your computer. Well, where is it? It's on the internet. You know, like when you access your emails from your computer and your phone, the email, it isn't stored on either device. So if everything's stored on the internet, then your phone, your computer, all of these devices are what people call stateless, which is kind of a big word. So maybe just remember this. Chrome is a totally rethought web browser. And you can download it right now on your computer. But Chrome OS is a totally rethought computer that lets you stop worrying about your computer so you could focus on the internet which is what most of us use our computers for nowadays, anyways. And we're back. <laughs> Indeed. Uh, yeah. So that I, I hope that explained a little bit about the OS, the OS for you, the operating system. The operating system basically is not booting up, not the 45 second boot up. In seven seconds, it's booted up and you're on the internet. Okay, so what it was explaining is that Google Chrome, when, when your computer boots up, it goes to that black screen. That's your BIOS. That's, that's going to be there no matter what. Even if you wipe the operating system, that BIOS is going to be there. It's in the motherboard. You have to take off the CMOS battery. No, 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 no. No, you have to. No, the, C, the CMOS battery does not hold the... It stores the information. It, yeah, it does. But anyway, that just resets the information. Um, so anyway, the, the BIOS is in the motherboard. You're, you're not... Ah. Welcome, let's talk tech. Hello? Hello, you're on yeah, the air. Um, I got a McPhee uh, security system on my computer. Yeah. Yes. And um, it keeps on, uh, the computer keeps on blacking out and turning off. Keeps on blacking out and turning off. I don't think it has anything to do with your security system. Um, Here's, I keep on getting viruses, like the, uh, the icon will pop up on the screen, like the little yellow with the exclamation point on it, that I have some kind of damaged... Uh, oh. Okay, that you have, that you're, it, or is it saying that you're not fully protected? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Uh, w did you, is it, it's a PC, right? It's a desktop? Yeah. Yeah, uh, and where did you get it from? It's Dell or HP or? HP. HP. How long have you had it for? Uh, we, we actually just, we just took the, um, the computer and sent it out, and I get, they said they fixed it, and they sent it back to us. I've had it about a month now since it got fixed, but... Every time I go to, um, I try to click on the internet, um, I'll be on, I go on to Google or something to go to Google something and then the screen will black out. Okay, I know this is a common virus, um, very, very, very common. And the best thing you can do is either wipe your computer, which is taking the operating system and everything out of it and re-putting the operating system in, or switching your web browser, which is, you know how you click on the E for Internet Explorer? Yeah. 
try changing over to like Firefox or Google Chrome, and that'll fix your problem. That may fix the problem. No. Uh, no. It, if you want other um, security on your computer, you can go and download that for free off uh, CNET.com. Oh, okay. and, and then you can just get free antivirus and security, and that should, and then run that uh, maybe like a couple times and see if th that does anything and finds anything. It's completely free, so it should work. Well, why isn't that McPhee thing working? Isn't it supposed? It to expires after so much time of having the computer. And after it expires, it's not as good. And if you get like, uh, I suggest a Vera or AVG, mm -hmm. and those work pretty well. Those are the, probably the best out there for free antivirus. Yeah, your McAfee is only comes with a limited time uh, product on and the computer. I'm not actually a big fan of McAfee either. No. Mm. But uh, like I said, if you switched web browsers, there's like a, almost a guarantee. My guarantee, Thomas Billings. <laughs> guarantee. Guarantee that yeah. you will the it'll stop happening. All right. So what? Where do I go now for the free? Um. Uh, Cnet.com. C n e t dot com. And then just at the uh, on the sidebar, there should be a thing called uh, security, and then it, it should just bring you to uh, a list of programs that you can download for antivirus. Uh, how how do I do that now? If if I can't even get on the internet because um, it keeps on shutting down, so how do I do that? Uh, um, yeah, I'm you're send it out again, right? Yeah, you're gonna. You're, uh, I think your best idea. Do you have any other computers at your house? No, nah, that's the only one. Do you have a flash drive? You have some, you have a place that you could put other information onto off of the computer. A CD. I can't do anything with the computer. Like it won't even. It keeps on. The screen goes black. The screen goes complete. Viruses. Yeah, that's that's kind of that's a complicated. Yeah, that's a complicated. Um, yeah, it's a really complex virus. <laughs> you got yourself. Into yeah, what what you what see now that it, if you can't do anything with the computer at all, basically what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to um, wipe the computer. That's my best suggestion to you is just wipe it how because do, you, do you have your windows install disk yeah yeah you just put it back in the computer put it, and wipe put it, it back in the computer run the program and when you install it you're gonna have to delete the partition right in the beginning it's gonna tell you to boot from CD you click on it it just hit a any key and then just follow the steps it tells you and then when it comes up to what partition you want to delete just delete your main drive but, but gonna buy me enough time to be able to go to the CNET you said no, but wiping the computer, it it's will... It's going to get rid of everything that you have on that computer. It'll get rid of the viruses, but also everything you have. So, so I would suggest... Files and everything be, we have to do everything all over again? Yeah, you'd have to download everything that you have, any files so whatever anything you, you have. Whatever you have, wiped. your best bet is just to try to get everything off the computer and then just put the Windows install disk in and wipe it. Uh, okay. Because... Right, thanks, guys. Yeah. All right, thanks, Colin. That was a good call. Very um, good call. Wiping, like I said before, is just putting your operating system, usually Windows, into the computer and hitting any key to boot. Right, it's about the second screen usually on most computers, and it comes up with the thing, and you just follow the steps depending on what. It de yeah, system. depending on the operating system. Ah, another caller. Hello, Hello, welcome. Let's talk tech. Mm -hmm. Hello. 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 Yeah. What's your question? Oh. That's a first. Yeah. They had a bad imitation voice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um so um yeah, if I don't know what happened with that. Anyway. Seriously? Yeah. I don't like losers who call in to prank call. Yeah. You're at WPAA. Yeah, if I know. if you call to prank call us, what life do you really yeah. have? <laughs> um I mean really. <laughs> p please don't even waste your time. Just go out and, you know, try something else. Like, there's a thing called friends. It's amazing what you can do with them. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. But anyway, <laughs> anyway, so back to the back to the browser in the OS. The Google Chrome operating system is the browser. So I, what you're used to doing is... I, I, I'm not a particular fan, actually. Yeah, I, I, I like it, but from what I tried out, there's a trial version now where you can actually, like, uh, you use virtual You can box. run it as a virtual machine, which is running it over your op your current operating system without dual booting it. So it's like a trial. Yeah. And I didn't what I what I saw of it, it was kind of annoying. You to sign in, you sign in with your email address. Your Google email. Your Gmail. Or whatever. If you have a Google account, sign in. You sign in email. with your Google account and once you're logged in, pretty much everything's on the internet. Yeah. And if you don't have fast internet, say you have yeah. dial up, <laughs> you're screwed. Well basically <laughs> you cannot log in without the internet. So yeah. in order so to do this What do you mean forty five yeah. minutes to transfer this file? Um, this? everything's on the internet. 
you really don't use your hard drive for anything. And because it is open, because it is a, uh, it uses Linux. Uh, uh, no. Linux based, yeah, it yeah, does. It's Linux based. And because that is, it's less likely to get hacked because not too many people are willing to hack Linux. It's definitely more secure. I'm not saying there's no viruses for it. I'm not saying there's... Well, they're not for, not, not for the moment, but there will be eventually some. Will. No, I'm, there's a virus. I'm sure there is. But I'm not saying that it's not... The, the program itself, they use that for the highest grade firewalls that there is, except for Sonic Firewall. But I think even that is Linux based in a, in a, in a way yeah. or another. But they use it for a smooth wall. They use it for all free programs that are very high grade, great firewalls. It's, it's, it's so pretty good. Basically, the operating system, you're used to logging in Windows and your hard drive, your, your, well, everything you look at is on your hard drive. This is not the case. Everything you, uh, you go, okay, if you use Google Chrome, imagine just logging into your computer and there's Chrome. That's it. That's your operating system. You log in your seven seconds, system, you're on your screen, Chrome. you type it in, you type in your email address, you type in your Gmail, whatever, you log in, then you're on the internet. Yeah, you're Once on you're the internet. And the boot up time is seven seconds. I would definitely recommend AT&T, no. AT&T is actually kind of slow. Yeah. Um, maybe users, faster stuff, maybe, slow. maybe users who have AT&T like it, for what they do, but I have three people on at my house, including servers, at, uh, plus servers, and I it is it definitely is pretty slow for us, and we have the second highest package, so not yeah. a big fan of it. I would suggest if you have uh, broadband, uh, Comcast, which is broadband, uh, or cable internet, or T1 or better, you yeah. c you could definitely use this. But really, besides well, that, I, this is this is really going to affect things because there you don't put anything on your hard drive. All your documents that you want. This is, is 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 going to be on the internet, which is, is what this is really good for computers that well, are really old. This is what Bill Gates. Tried. Oh, okay. Uh, hello, welcome. Let's talk tech. Um, so this is what Bill Gates tried to do way back in the day when the internet was first becoming popular. He wanted all everyone's information to, to be, be stored backed up on, on his servers. His servers were, were supposed to, uh, his original plan was his servers were supposed to back up everybody's information. That didn't work out because that no one liked him. <laughs> no one liked Bill Gates. Google Chrome's a very good company. Google itself, they're very efficient. Uh, they're not only efficient, but they're very helping. They try to help you the best they can. They try everything they can to help you. They're not trying to hurt you. They're trying to help you. Windows, I think, just makes, just tries to make it as complicated as possible and then laughs at the people who buy it. I'm just saying. So, basically, um, yeah. oh, oh. Oh. You can, didn't you tell? It, it kind of like half run. Oh, oh okay. okay. So, so basically, the whole thing that, this is gonna be really complicated because all it is is a browser. Th that, that's all it is. All your information stores on Google. So I tried this out and the only documents that you could upload to Google is documents. You cannot upload music because Google now has this new thing out where you type in the name of the web browser and it will... Hello, welcome, let's talk. Okay. Anyway, I wasn't sure if it... Yeah. yeah. Um, so anyway, you type in the... Oh, uh, uh, hey, uh, John, screen the call. So... Yeah, so this is great for it's great for people that use the internet only. But you cannot upload music because Google has a new thing where you search the song and you could play the song right off of Google. So for Google search. Yeah. And this is definitely good for I think it's great for older computers with very little hard drive space but fast internet like um I'm like older people for example the, yeah, the elderly the usually the internet, yeah. they usually don't upgrade their computer because they don't think they have to. So it's an older computer. But usually their grandson or something talks them into buying a faster like we did ca faster <laughs> DSL. So this is great for them who can just store everything on the internet and don't have to worry about their hard drive space. Now or the only thing you should be whatever. worried about in this case is that you're uploading everything to the internet. So. I'm not saying it's a bad thing because it's Google. You know, Google's not out there to harm you. But Google's not out there to get you. Of, co of course, in the streamline between Google and there, say, I don't know, you're sending an important file, saving it to your hard drive. In that essence, I'm using me as a reference point, but I could probably get in there and take the information and 
So, yeah, it's, it really wouldn't be that hard. So I'm sure it's secure somehow by some kind of server, but it really wouldn't be that hard to do it. But, okay, I can see how this is, could be really secure if they back it up with a lot of servers, they back it up with a lot of security software. This, should, this could be a great idea. Yeah, this could, this could be great. Now, the, now the um, OS, the version they have out now, the trial version, is not actually the real version. It's the, since it, it is a trial version it, to say. Yeah, but, but it's this the real version. They said it, it, well, it's coming out in 2010, so it's coming out. This is next just year. like the very, very, very basic version. Basic. They haven't even started, haven't even started creating with, the code. Yeah. Like this is the basic, basic. Yeah. They'll get. Yeah. It's, it's going to change a lot. But I this mean, is just to see. They how have people working on this every day. They're working with companies. Um, work with a whole bunch of companies, but different kinds of I think places. they saw how Windows 7 put out a trial release and yeah. how well that worked yeah. out. That worked out great. That worked out great. Million, people didn't like Vista and they didn't know. 2.5 million people downloaded it and that's the limit you could, but people swapped disks and, sw and just got new key codes. We're talking millions and millions plus people yeah. downloaded this thing. I, ha I downloaded it at least five times. <laughs> downloaded this thing, got it, and we're using it. I yeah. mean, it was just a great, great operating system. And the trial itself, they were working out bugs because with Vista, they had a lot of bugs that people found out later on. But with this, they, they, they could put out the trial and if a bug appeared, you could report it and then whatever, do it, uh, they could fix it. And then when the real release comes out, oh, it doesn't matter. We oh, have we have a phone call. Yeah. Hello, welcome to Let's Talk Tech. Hey, I got a question for you. Yeah, what's up? Um, what's your, uh, take on the 4G iPhone that's coming out next year? 4G iPhone? Uh, I think it's going to be really good. This one, they said there was going to be a camera on uh, on, on the, the newest three. one, yeah. but they just had a, uh, uh, it, there, there was, was a camera, camera but there wasn't um, a camcorder. Yeah, there wasn't a camcorder, which I really don't understand on that. But the 4G should be very good when it comes out, because the recent one that they just redid, I, uh, I think they did a great job on redoing it as it is. I don't think there's too much more that they can update besides putting a camera on the phone. Are you going to be able to pay wirelessly as a credit card? Okay. Uh, what? I didn't get that, what? Um, I heard that you're going to be able to pay wirelessly on it, like, as a credit card. Pay um, wirelessly under what? Under the phone? Like, you could, like, pay for it, like, pay for shit with your phone. Oh. Well, yeah, if you go, since it has the internet. I haven't heard about that, but no, he's taking, like, a credit card. Like, the phone itself yeah. is a credit card. Oh, the phone is... I, I could see how that would work out. I've heard about a cell phone like that that bought you soda. You could bring it to the soda machine. I don't, but I don't know about that. Mac has promised a lot of things with the, the, the cell phone that hasn't been released with the 4G, the 3G, that they promised a lot of things that never happened. I wouldn't look forward to it, but I would look forward to it in the years onward. Yeah, because I was thinking about getting the new iPhone, but... The 3G? Really, yeah. The, yeah, uh, the 3G is fine. I, I think it's really good. The 3G, I've... Wait until the new one came out, though. Yeah, uh, the new one's gonna have. I don't see how many more advances there's gonna be, but there's gonna could. be there's gonna be there's gonna be a ton of advances out because they're just gonna keep yeah. upgrading what other phones do. Yeah. But I would definitely not. I don't think it's gonna happen in this release. I think this release is just gonna come with something else. That way, later on, you can buy it yeah. for another upgrade. Well, so you think I'm better off just buying the iPhone right now and not waiting for the next? Yeah, if you wait for the, you do whatever you need want to do. But I, I really don't think it really matters. Yeah, I don't think it's going to be a big deal. You can do some more research. Do you take a lot of video? Would you be taking a lot of video with your phone? Um, yeah, definitely. Okay, yeah, then maybe then wait for the 4G. probably wait for the 4G. Oh, uh, okay. Okay. All right, later. All right, thanks a lot. Yep. Okay, we have like two minutes left. Um, so anyway, our email's on the screen. Let's talk tech one at gmail.com. I'd also like to say that um, the website, uh, I, I, um, I give dot com backslash WPA. I give dot com backslash WPAA is if you buy anything off there for Christmas shopping, um, you get WPA gets five dollars. And they really need the money. They we're really moving. need the money. We're so. moving our place. So sorry, we cannot take your call. Uh, we'll take not. hello. Um, hi. You said that with uh, Google Chrome, everything is on the internet. But would I still be able to run a software program that I had on a disk, or if I had a flash drive? Which didn't have the content. Only, only documents. Uh, documents or Word files. There's a Word file on Google 
now. That's, that's you could plug a in, word. You could plug it. You could read discs, and you could plug in a USB device and read but it off the internet. you cannot save it to your hard drive. You cannot save files to your hard drive. You, you have to save it, it on the internet. You'd save it to a, a file share in the internet. Okay, well, um, okay, thank you. Okay. Yep. Thank you for that short call. All right. Because, um, yeah, we're running out of time. Yep. Uh, so, yeah, everything's on our web. On, please email us, letstalktech1 at gmail.com. Please go if to our site. If you have any computer help, because we are, this is our last show yeah, till March. Till March. So, in our website, um, letstalktech1, Visit letstalktech.co.cc. Visit our website, letstalktech.co.cc. Everything's going to be um, on that website. Yeah, and, and um, we, what we include today and future updates. Thanks for the call. Is that called? Yep. Bye. Okay. Yeah, this is Let's Talk Tech, and we'll see you in March.